What's up, YouTube? It's your host, Deeper Depths, with the Deeper Level Podcast. Do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video and more content becomes available right here on this channel. Let's go. What is up, YouTube? So today we got official information on the Gotham Knights page. We've got a lot to look forward to because this week is GamesCon, the official conference. And they've also released information that a new trailer will be shown. But today they gave us a teaser on their official Twitter page. And this is the evidence board of Gotham Knights. It is located in the Belfry. We see they have been investigating the corruption within the GCPD, in other words, the Gotham City Police Department, with Commissioner Jim Gordon being dead. It's almost safe to say that there is probably not a dependable high-ranking person within the GCPD that can be trusted due to this corruption. The Court of Owls now probably has a grip on the entire police department to use them to further their plans. Even though the torn newspaper article here about the death of Bruce Wayne states that the investigation continues by GCPD as to what truly happened in the manor collapse. However, with the corruption of the department, who's to say that there is any effort being put forth by the police department at all? Furthermore, giving reason to the Gotham Knights to do their own investigation. Several other pieces of information are on board as well. We see a flyer of the annual Gotham Masquerade Ball. It can be seen, which is an event probably sponsored by Bruce Thomas Wayne each year. And it's hanging next to a key that has an owl insignia on it, which looks like the same key that Robin found during the Gotham Knights DC fandom trailer back in 2021. The key most likely was found during the time of this annual event, or either the Knights are planning to use it at the venue in which it will be held during the event. There also looks to be blood samples taken from someone that is possibly linked to the events that happened at Wayne Manor since the two pieces of evidence are linked by a red string to symbolize a relation of some sort. The board of evidence also shows the one confirmed villain that we know of, which is Mr. Freeze, that will head the Regulators gang. However, the question is what other villains await us in Gotham Knights? as WB Montreal has been very secretive with confirming villains in the game. Now we know that this is confirmed that at Gamescom 2022, they will be revealing a brand new trailer, which could give us a look at our next villain. If you notice carefully above the tape and picture of Mr. Freeze, pieces of tape that are placed uniformly just like the tape that says Mr. Freeze on it are left blank, which once the Gamescon trailer is revealed may be filled in as we might see the space was left open. However, only time will tell. If you enjoyed the content as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video and more content becomes available. Once again, this is Deeper Depths, your host of The Deeper Level, signing out, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.